Welcome back survivors. Today we'll be uncovering some hidden special items and lores that even the most dedicated fans might have missed. From mysterious documents to obscure objects. These clues paint a vivid picture of the characters we love. Let's get into it, shall we? Our first stop is the liquor room, where a seemingly ordinary bottle holds a connection to Barry Burton. This isn't just any bottle. It's a nod to Barry's love for his family and his struggles throughout the series. A small detail, but one that adds depth to his character. Next, let's visit room 104 at the Apple Inn. Here we find Ben Bertolucci's date book and passport, giving, giving us a glimpse into his last days. But that's not all. Travel to the East Concourse and you'll find a six-month subway commuter pass with Ben's name on it. These items hint at his journey through Raccoon City, trying to expose the truth. In the examination room at Raccoon Hospital, we discover two important items related to Chris Redfield. First, his medical chart stamped with the STARS medical checkup. It's a subtle reminder of his rigorous training and the physical toll of his missions. Alongside it, an X-ray picture shows Chris's healthy frame, emphasizing his resilience in the face of unimaginable horror. At the Apple Inn, an old hotel register catches our eye. Dated quite some time ago, one name stands out clear. This simple entry is a breadcrumb leading to Claire Redfield's presence in Apple Inn, connecting her journey with the events of the game. Our final stop is a photo of two people smiling at each other, Sherry and Annette. This snapshot hints at the bond between mother and daughter before tragedy tore their lives apart. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Resident Evil lore, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our next video. Until next time, stay safe out there survivors.